Okay, let me get in there before he goes. Or she. It's a windy day. Let me block the wind. Can't see the bee, it's buried in there. And down inside all the stamen. We'll wait till it flies out. A weird fly over there, like one of the ones that with the weird wings, but it's a different kind. Picture wing? Yeah. Here he comes. Looks like it's in focus. Aha, uh -huh, I see movement. Okay, I can see a body. Part of it, at least. In the morning would be better when there's no pollen and the flowers. Maybe they've got it all already. Oh, there's two bees now. No, the other one is, looks different. It's like a chimney bee. Maybe. Look at those chimney bees down there. I don't see them. Down in the same place on the driveway? Yeah. Yeah, there's more bugs in this flower. Yeah, these flowers are so big they just disappear into it. Okay, we'll try this flower and see what we got. Someone's in there. Really green. Yeah. There's some pollen on the hind on the hind legs, yeah. It's a small bee. Yeah, they're really tiny. Let's get a measurement. Say it's less than a centimeter. No, that's inches. That's about a centimeter. Maybe a little more, just over. Make up for it in brightness. Let's see how wide are these petals. Well, at least we got the scale in there. Yeah, there he is. Is that his head? Yeah, that's his face. Oh, he's coming out. Oh, you know what? It's probably a she. She. You're right, probably is a she. Okay, it looks like we got enough. Okay, now this prickly pear is called Apuntia angelmanii. And there's a close look up at the flower there. I'm going to block the sun. Okay, now watch this. The stamens are reacting to the movement. They're somewhat elastic, but they also have like a motorized function. I think it helps them curl up 
around the bees when the bees come to visit. And then after about 15 minutes, those stamens will separate again and the plant will go back to normal. Okay, here's another flower on this prickly pear. Note the position of the stamens right now. In fact, a lot of prickly pears and choyas have this function of the stamens. It's a natural reaction to being stressed. And this flower has a little more orange in it than the other ones. So let's look at the orange on the edge of the petals here. A nice prickly pear, Puntia angermanii. There you go. And there's a lot more flowers for the other bees to visit. Hello there, ma'am. This is a female. You can tell if we look down below. This is a female antlion. Now the larvae prey on ants the adults are quite pretty to look at. And they fly around. The big eyes. Well, look who else showed up. A little tiny praying mantis. Well, it's over an inch long, actually. It's still small. All right, now the camera's kind of shaky because I'm holding it by hand. I'm up here real close trying to get in. Nice, looks good. Like the wings. Nice pattern. And the eyeballs, let's look at the eyeballs. Sorry for the shake. Okay, there's your side view of the antlion. And she's pretty. Okay, it looks like she measures just over two centimeters. Two and a half. Good girl. Okay, have a happy life. Okay, look at that. I found a male for you. And you can see it's a male by looking at his nice little ending here. Now he measures about three and a half centimeters. So he's a bit bigger. Let's get his head in there. Okay, there's a look at him from the side. It's kind of dark. Not the best lighting conditions, but you can see the patterning on the wings, which is helpful for identification. Sometimes they all look the same. Let's really get a close look here. Let's see what his privates look like. Dude! Look at the hair. Alright buddy, we'll leave you alone. Have a good day. Okay, we caught one. Let's get up in here real close. It's not very bright. Goody. Can we get a face shot, please? Look 
the side. Moving fast. Oh, go on. This looks like a normal bee and honey bee, maybe. Can't see. Very dark. Can't really get much closer. I'm getting stuck. Oh, ouch. Got a beetle in there. Somebody crawling around. Somebody's in there. I'm already starting to spook them, but I want to come back in here and get as close as I can for you guys. That's right, you can't leave. I'm filming. Okay. Okay, let's see who's in here. Can't get much closer than that. I think I'm on the flower. Guess who's hiding down there? Can we see you, please, up close? That's about as close as I can get without crushing the flower. Sorry for the shake, I'm trying to get it, hold it, hold it. Oh, moving too quick. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough. I think it's all out of focus though. Most of it. All right. That should be plenty.